What's up everybody? Thank you for joining me today. I will be sharing with you a delicious, soft and chewy lemon crinkle cookie recipe that you are sure to enjoy. These are bursting with lemon flavor and they are just so delicious. So let's get started. So we will start with the star of this recipe, which is the lemon. We're gonna zest this lemon up and get about one tablespoon of a lemon zest, set that aside and work on our dry ingredients. One and a half cups of flour in a mixing bowl, we are going to add half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of baking soda. So mix that right in. If you are using salted butter later on in this recipe, be sure to use only a quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix in our lemon zest at this point as well and fully incorporate into our dry ingredients. All right, so let's get started on the wet ingredients. We are going to bring back that lemon we've just zested and juice it up. You should get about two tablespoons of juice, just a little bit more than that. Be careful not to get any seeds in your juice. We don't want that ending up in our cookie dough. And to half a cup of butter in a separate mixing bowl, I am going to beat this up. You might find that it gets stuck on your mixer. Don't worry, just use a spatula, scrape it down and continue mixing. Beat it until it is light and fluffy and then you can add in your sugar. I added about one cup of sugar here in stages. If you find that it does get a little bit too crumbly, do not worry, once you add in the egg, it should all come together very nicely. Also, working with room temperature butter will help. All right, so drop in that egg and it's time to mix that in. So you wanna beat this until it is nice and fluffy. As you can see, it is now coming together and it should look like this. Now it is time to add in our vanilla extract. We are going to add in about one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I recommend using the pure vanilla extract, the natural kind and not the imitation kind. It does make a big difference. And then two tablespoons of our lemon juice. Once that is in, continue mixing it all up together. It is now ready for the dry ingredients. Bring back our flour mixture. This is an example of what not to do. Uh, you want to actually stop your mixer or else if you dump in the flour, it's gonna go everywhere like you see here. All right, so stop your mixer and then pour in the flour and the dry mixture. And once that is in there, use your beater to just sort of smush it into the wet ingredients. Mix it all together. Make sure it's fully incorporated. If you find it is getting stuck, just use a spatula to scrape the cookie dough down and you should end up with a nice looking cookie dough like this. Cover it in saran wrap and keep it in the fridge to chill for at least 30 minutes to an hour. You can also freeze this dough and bake it at a later date, or you can chill it overnight as well. It is up to you. But I do recommend chilling it for at least 30 minutes. Once our cookie dough has been chilled, take it out of the fridge and it is time to make our drop cookies. I am using an ice cream scooper to help sort of maintain an even cookie shape. I'm gonna scoop it and roll it in between my hands. And then drop it into some powdered or confectioner sugar and place on a parchment lined baking sheet. And repeat this process, just scoop, roll and dredge in the sugar and it is ready to bake.
we want to bake these cookies at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for between 12 to 14 minutes. Be sure to keep an eye on them. Every oven is different and depending on the size of your cookies. Now they are done. I have pulled them out of the oven. Be careful, they are hot and you want to transfer these cookies to a cooling rack to let them cool completely. Wonderful. So these are what the cookies should look like. And on the bottom, it should be lightly golden brown, just like so. I'm gonna show you the inside here. Look at that, soft, chewy, that is perfect. That's what we're looking for. I hope you enjoy. All right, so our chewy lemon crinkle cookies have just cooled. It's time for the taste test. Here, part. Mm. Oh yeah, that lemon flavor. The cookies are soft and chewy, melt in your mouth. These are good. Mm. I hope you enjoy this recipe. I had so much fun making these. They're simple, super easy, and quick. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss a video. I will see you next time.